Hello, I'm going to uh, make a pulley system for my gym at home. I was talking to this guy on Facebook Market and he had some like pulley system thing with some benches and stuff and it was really dodgy and I was like, you know what, I think I can do that myself for much less because everything, all the prices of all gym equipment are hiked up at the moment because of the demand. It's a basic supply demand. So um, I'm going to see if I can knock together a little pulley system. I've got my mask on because you have to wear a mask um, everywhere you go around Melbourne at the moment. Gyms are closed. Um, yeah, I matched, I matched it with my t-shirt as well. <laughs> all right, so we're at Bunnings. Um, you're not allowed in unless you have a power pass card. So I'm borrowing my brothers because uh, you have to be a tradie to enter Bunnings um, but obviously I don't want to buy pulley systems and stuff online because I don't even know what I'm looking for really but I, I need a pulley I have some rope at home um, and then I'll probably need some like clips and then I'll like get a handle off eBay or something I don't know that's the plan I just realized I could have used some steel brackets for my um, squat stand instead of wood but they're pretty inexpensive too Take note for anyone else who wants to build one. You can buy them instead of using timber. So I was looking at these swivel ones, but if I get another attachment, hook it to the roof, I reckon it's gonna be too free moving because obviously it's gonna be, the rope's gonna be going straight down, so there's gonna be no real support for the weights up. So I'm gonna get this one that I can just screw straight into a beam on the roof, and then it'll be solid from there. A little bit more support. I love purple guys, they didn't have two though, so I got a purple and a green. Alright, I'm going to try and find a, a start in the roof that I can whack these screws into. I've got long timber screws, let me take this off now. Um, just do the old knock trick. Hollow. You can see by the, the splits in the wood here that that's... Start here. Alright, after a few um, failed attempts, <laughs> we found some strong bits, mate. I don't know what was there, but there was timber, but it just was like falling apart. I don't know what's going on up there, but this is strong over here, so we're going to whack it in there. Dude, it's like good I'm shit. like shaking from my workout. This is the full system. So we ended up anchoring it into the timber across the top here because we ended up patching up the roof because we destroyed it pretty much. <laughs> Trying to find the studs in the roof and um, uh, I don't know why, but we just could not find a solid anchor point in the roof. Uh, so we, I was like, eh, we can just whack it in there. And we, at least we know that timber's sturdy. So, uh, so far it's handled like 40 something kilos and it's been okay. <laughs> the actual pull is like 200 kilo weight rating, but, um, obviously it's the anchor point that makes, uh, that determines how much weight it can hold. I have got some chain too. Um, so yeah, clips, loop put it through the pulley and that's it. And then I just loop that chain through um, the plates and that's it. Now I forgot to mention, but I actually got these three millimeter cable grips. So you need these to tie off the ends, obviously. I was trying to find the packet because um, I forgot to show you what I got in Bunnings, but um, you need them to loop so you can loop and then loop down there. Where? There. 